now arrived in the city of Orosk and look at this beautiful Soviet mosaic. You can see what uh, you can see what Orosk was all about before. Fishing, you see fishermen with fishing nets, people collecting fish, and you see the main man at the top right, Lenin. Do you see? There he is at the top right, the main man. So yeah, this is a great start to Orosk. Used to be a fishing town, but now it is gone. You know, I'll tell you why later. So, as you saw in our intro, we're in Aralsk, the site of the Aral Sea disaster. The Aral Sea used to be one of the, it was the fourth biggest sea in the world, but now over 90% of the water has been evaporated or is gone. And this town of Aralsk was a thriving fishing town, as you saw in the, as you saw in the train station. But now look at this. It's dead. You can see the desert around. Perhaps the ocean was over there. Not sure exactly. But there is no ocean anymore. And there's no fishing anymore. So if you want to see the Aral Sea, there's mainly two places you can go. Here in Orosk, in uh, Kazakhstan. But also you can go to Moynak in Uzbekistan. Where there's more like sh abandoned ships and uh, more remains. That would be a better place. We'll be going there later uh, in our two-part series. Uh, in Kazakhstan, there's not much left, just dogs uh, and some cows. Me. Look at the dog. Yeah, we have a little friend here. Rusk looking a bit cold. <laughs> <laughs> the dog really likes here. <laughs> we don't have food. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have food. But uh, anyways, you can see that. Trying to restore the sea. Some parts have a little water back, but not much happening. Such a big deal. No camels. Hopefully, we see them in some other cities. I want to see a wild camel. Today, we're here in the town of Moynak in Karakal, Pakistan. So here in Karakal, Pakistan is an autonomous region in Uzbekistan. <coughs> Behind me, you can see the old map of the Aral Sea. 1960. Wow, that's a big sea. And remember, we were in the town of Orosk, in Kazakhstan. Hundreds of kilometers away was the northern side of the Aral Sea. This is the southern side. You can see, this was the Aral Sea before, and right there would have been the actual Aral Sea. But, you can't see it anymore. It's just the desert. Yeah, we see the Aral Sea. So let's try to get toward the museum. Where is it? Oh, oh, here's an interesting map of the Aral Sea. You can see here on the map. You can see here is Moynak, and there was Aralsk, where we were a few days ago. Aralsk was the northern part of the sea. Moynak was the southern part of the sea. 1860, you can see that both places had a sea. However, the sea became smaller and smaller to the point that there's no sea. 
became even smaller in 1999. And oh, look at this. By 2016, there's just a few patches of water. This lake was once the fourth biggest lake in the whole world, but now it doesn't even make the top 50, I think. And why did this happen? Well, we'll talk a bit more about that later. So you can see here, this once would have been the Aral Sea. Again, Moynak, much like Aralsk, was a big fishing town, big port. The industry heavily relied on fishing. But now, as you can see, there's no fish to fish because there's no water. And now the town's economy has gone down. It's obviously not a big city. And yeah, development has stopped. Down there, you can see what would have been the old port. And the old ships have been abandoned. Old Soviet ships, Venus. What's better than an old Soviet ship? Ah, oh, London. Wow. Ankara. New Delhi, look at that, New Delhi. We're gonna New be Delhi? there in a few days. So yeah, okay. if you wanna come see the Aral Sea and some remains in history, it's better to come to Aralsk, or no, to Moynak, because Aralsk has nothing. They used to have ships, but they destroyed them. For some silly reason. This is called a ship graveyard. Let me tell you a bit of why the Aral Sea is gone. During the Soviet Union, they wanted to uh, redirect some river routes for irrigations, canals, and those kinds of agricultural projects, which meant that there were no waters going in to the Aral Sea. Then the Aral Sea started shrinking because all the water and all the rivers taking water to the Aral Sea were redirected to other directions. And it's, we're in the desert, as you can see. The heat in the summer is quite extreme. And now it's gone. Now you can see it's a popular tourist destination though. Moynak. Gonna take a closer look at some of these Soviet ships. Fortunately, no camels. Wow, Soviet ships. I can try to take a look inside one of these ships. It's just kind of trashed, unfortunately. Uh, this is one of the abandoned ships from the Aral Sea, a Soviet ship. Looking pretty rusted, looking old. Let's go down. Let's go inside. Let's go to Berlin. Okay. Oh, look at this. Let's go in to the front chamber of the ship. like some people had a party in here. Nothing really to see here. Wow. Just old sand. Some trash. Some writing on the wall. <laughs> what is this lever? It's not working anymore. Yeah, nothing uh Nothing too much to see on this ship. Maybe let's check out a different ship. This one looks quite open. It looks a bit bigger. This one right here. It's kind of like a skeleton now. <laughs> looks pretty big. Let's try to go inside.
to the Herald Sea we go. Wow, just There's the desert. No sea. Yeah, no sea anymore, unfortunately. So yeah, as you see, towns like Moynak, Aralsk that we went earlier, those towns would be flourishing with people, fishermen, a lot of business, but not nowadays. Nowadays you can find the Aral Sea 150 kilometers that way. Yeah, there's another ship here from the graveyard. Wow. Much the same. Much the same. How many ships have we seen so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There should still be like two more. Oh, that's a big one over there. That looks like a house. So yeah, this area located in the desert, the sea has just become an extension of the desert. You can see some fine sand here. Did you see any shells or no? I saw some shells. Yeah, you saw a few shells? But uh, not much. It was uh, more than 40 years ago that the sea vanished. It's never returned. But yeah, the sand is so fine and soft. It's nice. Quite cold out here. In the summer, it can be super hot, up to 45 degrees or even more. In the winter, it's cold. It can be all the way down to minus 20, the cold times. Typical continental desert climate, you can say. Today, the temperature is about two degrees. Good weather though, so it doesn't feel too cold. Well, this is a wooden one, isn't it? Yeah. The wood. It's preserved so much better than the metal. You can see. The metal just rusts away, but the wood stays very strong throughout the years. It doesn't look a day old. Yeah, nails. Let's see if we can somehow get up there. Yeah, it's a big one. It's like the Caspian monster. <laughs> you can see the big engine or whatever you call it down here. Is there a way, a way to get up there? Doesn't look like it. I don't think I'll be able to uh, climb this one. Only thing that would make it better is some camels, but we haven't seen a camel since we've gotten to Uzbekistan, right? Just once, yeah? In the road. Yeah, just once in the road. Otherwise, we only saw in Kazakhstan, I think. You can see some of this one. Hello. <laughs> yeah, the ship bed. Maybe some people are sleeping here, or I don't know. They maybe had some uh, luggage here. fishing and all that stuff but uh, interesting enough even for a person that knows nothing about it I don't know why they didn't put a nice ladder on this one that would have been helpful I guess they don't want this one being trampled by all the people and that way is the formal Aral Sea and the current Aral Sea 150 kilometers away. So yeah, moral of the story is Soviet projects can go wrong and cause a disaster, as we all know. It's great though. Thank you for watching and thank you for coming along on this adventure to the Aral Sea or what used to be the Aral Sea. Next, we're gonna be going to Nukus and still in Karakal, Pakistan. Should be a pretty cool city. And yeah, if you have the chance, come here, look at some old ships, old uh, artifacts. And maybe if you have a nice, strong car, you can go all the way to the Aral Sea. Oh, thank you, it's been a long journey, but it's all been worth it. Goodbye from the ship graveyard.